welcome back to my channel a crafty poodle mom I wanted to share with you a quick project share using my jaded blossom rickrack topper die that I really love um, I'm going to a coffee and sweets themed meetup tomorrow and I wanted to um, do this video tonight on Saturday so that I can upload it um, right as I leave schedule to leave um, to drive out to my meetup I also use the Doodlebug Design uh, Odds and Ends Creamy Sugar Collection. Um, so I used a lot of the ephemera pieces here uh, to add to my uh, Brick Rack Topper die. So this is a favor, chocolate favor, that I am adding into one of my goodie bags, or into my goodie bags, one of the items. I do have a, a different type of favor kit that I will share in another video. Um, I use this die cuts with a view. Paper stack for $2.29 I got last year on clearance at Michael's. I used a majority of the pack. Um, there's probably less than 20 pieces of paper left, so I'm really happy that I used up at least half of that. Um, again, Rick Rack Topper Die from Jaded Blossom. I love this die. I cut out a whole bunch, um, but I only decorated 14. Um, to add to my favor um, goodie bags. So, oh, I also use the candy wrap dies from Jaded Blossom as well. So it cuts out um, using the Hershey's, the Hershey's nuggets that I have picked up at Walmart. They, there is a extra creamy milk chocolate with toffee and almonds, which is my favorite. Special dark mildly sweet chocolate with almonds, which is my favorite. <laughs> milk chocolate with almonds, which is also a favorite, and milk chocolate. And so I mixed and match a lot of the candies, and I cut the candy wrap dies here. And this is what the, the stitch looks like. And I basically used it uh, to wrap the Hershey nuggets and uh, this one I use some of my washi tape to decorate these are washi tapes that I picked up at Michaels in you know one of those um, washi collections um, that came out last year and so I used some of the, some of the washi on regular cardstock or the cardstock from the die cuts with the view and then I uh, taped it up and I backed it up with some paper. I cut out the paper and layered it and used uh, some washi as well as the cream and sugar die cut pieces and some enamel, um, different types of enamels, uh, stars and hearts and circles that I have from my stash, I believe. This came from Joann's like two years ago. So let me fast forward through this so that I can share with you um, just how it's decorated. Each one is decorated. one left <clears throat> to put together and we'll put it together on camera so this is a little teacup with um, or coffee cup with some sugar cubes and a little spoon and I added uh, some of the washi oh I don't have that washi here but this is also part of that washi collection it's really cute um, so what I did was I cut off the papers I added some um, sticky tape to the a corner of one of the this is really sticky <laughs> it won't let to... okay so so I added the sticky tape here 
and basically I will fold it over like so to close it up and cover it up. I'll do the same with this one. And I'm just going to add the blue on the bottom, pink. I also have a little bit of a the, the tacky tape on the bottom there, so I can just make sure that it will stay stuck while transporting my little goodies. And these are little Wilton bags that I picked up at Walmart. And add a couple of dots here, as well as here on each corner. to um, have the plastic bag a little bit smaller than the rickrack topper so that um, there's no overhang and that's how cute it looks um, and then you can add a little some enamel dots or stickles here oh and I think that's fine and then you can also add some stickles to the ice cube Some Wink of Stella. To the spoon. And a little tea bag. So there you go. Isn't that cute? So this will be going in my favor bags or my goodie bags as favors. And um, I hope they enjoy it. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments below. I always enjoy reading your comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.